everyone. Nancy here with A Joyful Cottage. It's great to have you here today. If this is your first time visiting, I want to give you a warm welcome and tell you a little bit about the project I've been working on. So I haven't posted for a while because I've been working on my master bedroom. I've changed everything from the carpet to the paint, to the ceiling, new light fixture, just a lot of refresh and I'm very happy with the results. So what I'm going to do today is show you the before and talk about what my plans were and then a little bit about the process and then on to the final reveal. So I hope you'll stay through the whole video and take a look at everything that I've done. And I hope you'll consider subscribing if you like my channel and give me a like so more people get to see my video. So without further ado, let's get started. YouTube, I saw some people doing popcorn ceilings using these split rollers. So this is slits all along the roller and those are supposed to do a better job of getting around the stipple, the popcorn. So I'm going to try it out for this project, see how it works.
I wanted to block out drapes for this window because it's the north facing window and it stays light so late as you know in the summer and then it gets warm in this room too but i wanted something with a feminine touch and i was so happy to find these curtains with the overlay i think they're so pretty
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you got some inspiration and ideas for your own space. You know, when I'm working on these projects, they don't always go smoothly. I had a problem this time with one of the curtain brackets. And on the first one, I was able to find a stud and get it in quite easily. But on the second one, I had to use a wall anchor and I used the wrong one and I ended up with a big hole and it was just really a mess. And at times like that, it can be so frustrating and not having someone right there at hand to help me and to give me a hand um, can really be discouraging. But what I do is when I have a problem like that and I'm not finding a solution, I sit down and just pray. Just ask God for help because he is our helper. Psalm 54, 4 says, Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. He is the upholder of our life. He is our helper. Now, when David wrote these words, he was talking about a dire situation that was life and death. And not every situation in our life is life and death. Sometimes it's just a, a problem with craftsmanship, something that we're working on. But that doesn't mean that God's not interested in it. He is. He's interested in everything, every part of our life. And we have him to go to, to ask for help, to ask for wisdom. And when I do that, when I humble myself and don't try to just rely on my own abilities or knowledge, but go to him and pray and ask him to guide me, he does guide me to the answers and I find solutions. And I'm so thankful for that. So I want to share that with you today. If you run up against something that's a, kind of overwhelming or is causing you frustration, whether it's in your job, at home, it could be in a relationship, or maybe it's just something that you're working on, some home improvement that you're trying to accomplish and you're running into problems. My suggestion, my advice, if I may give it, is to go to the Lord. Just go to him in prayer and ask for help and wait on him to show you the answer. In my situation, I had to wait a couple of days, but I got my answer, I got it fixed, and my curtains are up, as you can see in the video, and they look great, and everything's fine now. So it's just another lesson that I've learned to trust in him. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode today. I hope that you'll come back again and join me. And thank you so much for your support and your love and your comments. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon.